to really go for it. And he has connected high and handsome. That is huge. That is massive. And that is six. So he's taken full toll. Not what Sri Lanka needed. So Fernando really not uh, doing the right thing by his captain or his team. So Sachin Tendulkar took the side chasing. That can be close. That can be close and it is. Goodness me, this is... That delivery was very full. Tendulkar again going too far across well. His stomp said it was uh, pretty straight, but gone for seven. So, missing leg stump uh, by some margin. And there is concern. Yeah, yeah, he would be rather unhappy. Oh, has he got him? I think the bat was in the air and Gotham Gambir is gone. Would you believe it? This ball was strongly driven by uh, Sawak. Fernando getting down, just getting a fingertip on it. Gambia doing the right thing, backing up, but too far. And that hit uh, the stump. So uh, it's an important partnership this now for India. That's a good shot. Yuvraj saying it was pitched up and he's gone for it. Wonderful cover drive for four. Square of the wicket on the offside. Well, that's gone through as well. For a moment, I thought it had got through. For a moment, uh, one thought that Dilara Fernando managed. It's important for both of them uh, to take uh, India to a good total. India, of course, has the luxury. Oh. Sekhar has been driven beautifully by Virendra Sebak. It's pure timing. Jayasuri is after it. He won't catch it. So beautifully timed. That was four from the moment it left the bat. This is the way he should be looking to play rather than the start of the innings. Oh, that is dismissed from his presence. Just a little bit short, and he is just dismissed. Sevak goes over the top, and that will run down to the mid wicket boundary. When the Sevak has been looking to hike him over uh, mid wicket for quite some time. And he hits it straight. That's an even better shot. That's gone for four consecutive boundaries for Virendra Sevak. Who was standing there. This has gone like a rock. And this is over the top, the third boundary of the over. Virendra Sevag is making it look so easy. Virendra Sevag in this mood can be about um, his uh, mystery being solved. And this is over the top. Yuraj Singh connects it and gets a boundary. Mendes pitching it up. And these pitches have been very, very good. They haven't uh, helped the bowlers to turn the ball uh, at all. It's allowed the team them. Once he found that there was not much help, he decided to go for the uh, power play. Not that it's working for him. Raj certainly needed any help there. And so that was always uh, going to be a problem. Oh, what a shot. Once again, making it look ridiculously easy. Nice high back lift. Nice balance there. As he rolls it. He's timing the ball extremely well. Just leaning into the drive. Yuvraj Singh picks up another boundary. His seventh boundary. Strokes. Just leaning into that big step forward. Getting there. More runs. My leg inside the ring. Straying in line. Not very often. It's in the air. But in no man's land. Yandrit coming up in the 15th over. This is good going for India. Will be another boundary. He's got the fine leg in and the square leg is on the fence and he's straying in line. And Yuvraj is too good today. 50 for Yuvraj Singh. He's batted superbly today. 107, 10 boundaries and it's 50. And there's more to come. He's taken the aerial route and he's hit it cleanly. 
and then executing that shot making sure that he cleared the infield full follow through can plays it late to get the placement right he's dealing in boundaries has enough to get to the boundary yet again what an over it's turning out to be last game to take it out shot is put away and it's Sebag this time joining in the party and uh, Sebag uh, makes Sri Lanka as well and he's going to get a lot more this one is probably going to win the chase it has he's got his 50 now 53 of 44 within the Sevag. He hasn't had much of the strike, mind you. But he's played a controlled and aggressive innings. All that he was on 49, not uh, 50. Well, that's through as well. And that was leg stumpish. He's played it inside out, Sevag. Magically in the gap. He's got four more. 11 from the over. So he would have gone there and told him, look, the dressing rooms enjoyed this very much. Side. Much less effective gone over the top and that's a flat hit for four again inside out and again another boundary and the power plays are done with playing in this manner against Surya. what a shot what a shot huge back lift with the turn going down getting under it what a crisp hit and he pulls down towards mid wicket it's split the gap it's gone to the boundary this boundary by virendra seva who split the gap so perfectly they seem to be finding the gap so easily no fielder Indication that uh, they have been scoring runs easily, and uh, this one too has been chopped down to third man. And that runs down to third man. That's another boundary to end the over. Runs are coming thick and far. Well, certainly an edge. And he's now 100. Yorad Singh has got his 11th one day 100, his first against Sri Lanka. And what an innings it has been. A tremendous performance. And aren't they happy? He's dominated the attack right through. Tendulka having fun. Certainly will have fun enjoying this uh, batting display put up by Yuvraj Singh and Virendra Sevan. There's the moment. One to remember, not only for Yuvraj Singh, but for everybody. He making a point to the dressing room about his last tour here. He's also closing in on his 10th hundred. Look at the reaction, isn't he delighted? A big hug from his partner. Played fine, he'll get another boundary. This outfield is very quick, I must say. And this is hit through mid wicket. That's gone down to the boundary. So, this is what we were talking about, Siva. The pressure is not being created in short length. Seva keeps a very steady head, watches the ball till the very end and gets into a very good position. Just marginally short of a length. Has played fine. That might be his hundred. It's gone down to third man and he'll come back for the second. So Virendra Seva reaches his tenth one day hundred. And only the second batsman in ten years to score a hundred in Sri Lanka. And what an innings it has been. Well, whenever he gets runs, it's great fun to watch. Except for the fielding side. And his 100 is coming just 75 balls at the very last moment. A delightful for the Seba. Both batsmen now getting 100. Hits them really hard, the sweep shots. And has gone through. It tells you a story. All looking demoralized. This young man is under a lot of pressure. And this time he's gone. Murali Dharan has to. I'm in love with the Coco.